Thank you very much. Uh, it is an honor to introduce Dr. Zuma, Commissioner of the African Union. Dr. Dilamini Zuma is a lady of noble character, a visionary leader with an incredible passion for the African continent. Its developmental ambitions and is a, is a champion of the renaissance of Africa. Working as, as part of the Zain Organization for the African Union Collective, she participated in a number of OAU delegations as a midwife to peace, stability, development, and prosperity to the African continent. She has also led a number of peace and security initiatives to the Democratic Republic of Congo, the Union of the Comoros, the Kingdom of Lesotho, to mention but a few. A woman of great strength and vision, Dr. Dilamini Zuma has held various high-level portfolios in the South African government as a Minister of Health, as a Minister of Foreign Affairs, and as a Minister of Home Affairs. Dr. Zuma's impressive academic life has been equally expansive and spans two continents, having obtained degrees to in, the, in South Africa at the University of Zululand and the former Natal during the 1972 to 1976, and the University of Bristol in England and Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. Without further ado, I invite Her Excellency Dr. Zuma to take the floor and give us her blessing. Thank you very much for that kind introduction. Your Excellency, Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, and our Chairperson of the African Union, and our fellow speakers, ministers, MPs, distinguished particip participants, especially the youth. It's good to know that the youth is here. <laughs> and a very well, warm welcome. I know you've been welcome to Ethiopia, but I want to welcome you to this headquarters of the African Union and hope that you feel at home because, of course, Africa and Ethiopia is the cradle of humanity, so cradle of humankind, so this is your home. And I'm indeed very honored to address the 2013 International Conference on Family Planning, and I'm very glad to hear that this is the biggest gathering ever of people coming to discuss family planning. This is an important conference, coming as it does at a time when Africa is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the founding of our organization. And it's therefore time to reflect on the past, the present, but more importantly, to plan for the future as our friend there and our brother Babatunde has already taken us beyond 2015. Family planning is critical. And since the African people, and the, in, it's very critical for Africans in particular, as he said, that this is very important that this conference is taking place here. Because it is the center for development, in my view. Without family planning, Africa cannot reach its full potential in terms of developing. <laughs> and of course, in that development, our families should be at the center. And our vision for the future that we want, family planning must accompany that future. I should therefore, it should therefore be placed 
in its proper context, in a broader discourse of the social, political, cultural, and economic transformation of our continent. Of course, Africa's population is set to double over the next few decades, reaching nearly 2 billion by 2050. And of course, as it's known, most of the population is young. And of course, half of that population is women. So the African continent, when it talks about family planning and all of us should go beyond the issue of population explosion, but instead we must talk about it in the context of investing in our people because our people and our women are the most precious resource any nation has. So our starting point is thus that family planning and our quest for should be part of our quest for women's emancipation. And, it is, and the two are inextricably linked. We must therefore ensure that boys, of course, girls as well, go to school. But girls must go to school and remain in school for as long as is possible until they finish their education before they decide to have babies. The continent is making progress on gender parity, on education, especially in primary school in most countries, but we must continue to push to ensure that girls go to school and stay in school, and that we further expand their access to skills development and higher education. Just as Dr. Babatunde said, we must do away with child marriages in Africa and elsewhere. We have committed ourselves to do this, including the legal obligation to end child marriages. Girls who end up as brides at a tender age are coerced into having children, whilst they are still children themselves. Children's bodies are simply not mature enough, both for early sexual experience, but more importantly, for pregnancy. So child marriages, early and teenage pregnancies, interfere with girls' education, their acquisition of skills, and therefore their ability to be economically independent. Babies born from children and teenagers also have a lower survival rate. We also know that better, that educated women means families with better health and nutrition and children with a better chance for education and survival. The African skills revolution that we are talking about cannot happen if it does not also target girls and women. Therefore, family planning is important for their education, for their health, for women's emancipation, and it is a reproductive right. And women's rights are human rights, and this is one of the rights that we must defend. And it is important for the empowerment of women because they must decide when they want to have their children, how many children they, they want to have, and what space do they want between their children. Because we know that spacing children not only allows more time to breastfeed, but also time for the body to recuperate after pregnancy and better space children have a higher survival rate than those who are very closely spaced. And by spacing their children, women will have fewer, healthier children that they can afford to look after, 
and to send to school. It is well understood that a drop in fertility rates often follows significant reductions in child and, and infant mortality rates, as well as an increase in average life expectancy. So family planning is not just about fewer kids, it's about the total uh, integrated development of both human beings and the countries. Therefore, we have to promote family planning, including the use of condoms. And this must be part of a, a education that we give to young people to reduce infant mortality, to prevent spread of sexually transmitted diseases, including AIDS, and of course, reducing unintended pregnancies and teenage pregnancies and reducing unnecessary deaths. And also, this will take the burden from the health services. We must also educate boys and men about family planning, the dangers of unprotected sex, of multiple partners, and about importance of spacing of children. This brings us back to the central issue that family planning must give women the power to exercise their reproductive rights. It is more than a health issue. It is a social, cultural, political, and economic issue. And therefore, it is very important and paramount that all of us support family planning. Our governments must support family planning but before I conclude, I just want to express our profound appreciation to all those who have helped to organize this conference because it's so important. And my special thanks goes to the government of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia and its government, led by the Prime Minister and the Minister of Health here, the Gates Foundation, John Hopkins, development partners, both bilateral and the UN system, and their diligence and hard work in facilitating this important event. And the last word goes to the youth, and we appreciate the youth goal that we are proposing. We appreciate the gender goal that we are proposing. But I just want to say to the youth, we always say youth is the future. But youth is going to in inherit the future that we bequeath to them. So I'm saying to the youth, you might as well start shaping the, that future now. Get involved now. Don't wait for tomorrow. Thank you.